First, uh, I don't think they're trying. I think they are. Oh, thank uh, you. Uzbek, we want the Uzbek community to also sponsor uh, some of those dinners and be in the room to talk about the beauty of the culture. You know, for the many of young New Yorkers, you are a role model. Because well, I hope I'm a role model for some of the older New Yorkers also. You know? Sure. <laughs> and it comes from a long list of traditional organizations that were here to help new arrivals acclimate themselves to a city. Uh, be together. The new arrivals learn the hard way. They start organizations like Silk Road to make sure those who come behind them. Many optimistic people, to talk about this pessimist parachute, and some of them are actually fighters. Me, I want to show some of them which which people are watching. I mean, people who are watching. I think I'm going to show them. Bundan yetti yıl aldım. Ben New York'a koçup yerimden kegen. New York'ta hakeme dünyanın en boy adamlardan biri Michael Bloomberg bilen birge işleşke müşarraf bogen ben. Ondan kegen Bill de Blasio bogen. Ve üçüncü man korgen New York'taki hakem bu Eric Adams. Bugün de şu insan bilen ham tanışamız. Assalamu alaikum hürmetli dostlar. Misra Tebek TV kanalge ve New York'a hoş gelipsizler. Bugün biz sizler bilen birgelikte New York hakimi Eric Adams bilen kısıqı interviyot kizamız. Bu insan cüdeyem kızıqarlı insan. O öz vaxtı da yalğız ona, onu katta qigən. Keyinçəlik o cüde New York'nı banditləri və cinayetçiləri kub bölgən rayonda tuğulgənəgə qaramazdan o polisiya xadımı bölgən. Kegin isə o senat azası bölgən. Kegin isə biz yaşadigən Brooklyn tumanını hakim bölgən və hazırda New York şəxar hakimi. Ondan biz bilbaqşımız. Qay tərzdə New York digi Uzbekistanlı yaşlar New York-nı ictimai hayatı da iştirak etşim kün qala versə siyasat ki xam qızıqqan xalda New York-nin siyasi hayatı da xam iştirak etşilər bun kün. Və mana şu Demək, bizni Uzbek həmcəmiyyətini işi də qənçəlik nadavlət təşkilatlarının rolü qatda. Çünki mənə şu, bugünki intervüyünü, intervüyü gəmən kim gərəxmət deyişim kərək? Silk Road Foundation gərəxmət deyişim kərək bu nadavlət təşkilatı və bu təşkilat Nüyörtəgi Uzbekistanliklərə yardan bərgən xalda Mərkəzi Asiyadəgi Mərkəzi Asiyadan təşrif bürgən adamlar gə, aynən New York-da onlar yardam yarış bilən şüqlanıb gelişməkdə. Aynən Manaşu təşkilatının fəaliyyət haqqı da xam, demək New York şəxar hakimi gə xam, biz savallar bəramız. Demək, hazırdan like-ni qoyub qayamız və New York şəxar hakimi Eric Adams bilən bölgən intervüyünü bərgəlikdə tamış aqılışını başlayımız. Mr. Adams, thank yes. you very much for coming. You're quite welcome. It's great to be here. Thank you. So uh, the Uzbek community is trying to play a very active role in the social life of New York City. But I think it's not enough for engaging, for fully engaged. So how could the Uzbek community become more engaged in social life of New York? What do you think? Well, first, uh, I don't think they're trying. I think they are. Oh, thank uh, you. Uzbek's community uh, is a strong community, and when you do a real examination, you'll see they're doing the most important part of the New York City's recovery. That is believing in public safety, uh, small business owners. They are very business-minded. They contribute to our tax base, uh, and they're very family-oriented, uh, circling around education. How do you ensure the next generation is continuing to move forward. And so my recommendation to the Uzbek community is to do three more things. One, uh, volunteer as much as possible, not only in the Uzbek community, but outside the community. Really start building roads outwardly so that people can see how much the Uzbek community love New York City and love this country. Uh, number two, I think it's important to participate in ways that we can bring people together. We call it breaking bread, building bonds. A thousand dinners across the city that we're doing, 10 people at each dinner coming from different cultures. We want the Uzbek community to also sponsor uh, some of those dinners and be in the room to talk about the beauty of the culture. And lastly, participate in politics. 
Mm -hmm. The decisions that are being made in many corners of our lawmakers uh, is not in alignment with what the Uzbek community believes and what I believe. Uh, the Uzbek community, as I stated, they believe in public safety. We need to have everyone voice together around public safety. How can we ensure that our city is safe? And if they go and volunteer at an elected official's office, if they make sure that everyone in the community is registered to vote, even if someone is undocumented, I'm sure the children are second generation, they should be registered. It should be a prerequisite when we're at a IFTAR. It should be, uh, is everyone here registered to vote? Those are important ways to continue to make inroads in the city. Thank you very much, very interesting. Yes. So the next question, um, you know, for the many of young New Yorkers, you are a role model because before you served for the people of New York as a police officer, as a state senator, and of course as a BBP, the Brooklyn Borough President, and now you're the 110th uh, mayor of New York City. So, and before you mentioned about that we have to participate in the politics, how can we do that? The young representatives of uh, Uzbek community in New York. Well, I hope I'm a role model for some of the older New Yorkers also, you know? Sure. <laughs> uh, but seriously, uh, it's about, People think it's hard. Let's start on a basic level. Every young person should know who their state senator is, who their assembly person is, who their congressperson is, and who their council person. They should go in and make sure that they know the basics of who is actually making decisions in their community. Once they know that, they should go and introduce themselves. And they should volunteer in their office. They should intern if they are 16, 17, 18, go in and say, I want to intern in your office. I want to learn about the process. They should go to the community boards, the precinct councils, so that they can see, they should learn about what civic organizations are in their community. And so this is an easy way to go in and introduce themselves. And then they should find one area that is important to them, that they have a lot of passion for. It could be education, it could be for domestic violence, it could be for making sure businesses are safe. Find that area and use that as a launching pad of how do I get engaged in politics uh, in my city. It's very easy to do in New York and in America to participate in politics. Join a club, decide if you want to register as a Democrat, independent or whomever, yes. but that is how you get started and you will find that you could really make an inroad in your local neighborhood and then really nationally. Thank you very much. And the last question. So the main partner of this event, the Silk Road Foundation, and the main mission of this organization united all of the representatives of Central Asian communities here in New York. They tried to help them in education, in uh, you know language classes, and of course, legal support as well. So how's your opinion? Uh, how is important uh, the role of Silk Road Foundation in order to help achieve that? Well, Silk Road Foundation is an amazing foundation and organization, and it comes from a long list of traditional organizations that were here to help new arrivals acclimate themselves to a city. Uh, we used to have something called the settlement houses. Uh, when people arrive from different countries, they would stay at the settlement houses, get information, get acclimated to what it is to be in a city. The city can be intimidated if you don't have someone holding your hand going through the process. If you speak with anyone from the Uzbek community, when they first came here, it was extremely challenging. They moved to communities like Brooklyn, where they were able to learn from uh, the city and learn from those who arrived first to learn about business, to learn about education, to learn about uh, how do you access uh, city services, and then you continue to grow. That's what Silk Road Foundation is about. It's so important. It is part of the pieces that allows uh, individuals to actually really participate in the American dream. I'm, I'm so proud of them. And again, uh, they're part of the rich tradition of organizations that have come together the new arrivals learn the hard way. They start organizations like Silk Roads to make sure those who come behind them don't have to go through the same challenges uh, that they experience. And you know, one should understand, everyone has it difficult when they first arrive to the country. It's, no, it's not unique. 
Uh, the narrative is the same. When you look under, I like to say, the fingernails of every group, you see the dirt and grind of climbing up the mountain one hand at a time to participate in the American dream. But when you get at the top of that mountain and you look out, you say, darn good to be here in this place we call America. Very nice. You know, I know as a mayor, you have many challenges and problems here because it's a very hard and difficult work. But at the end of this interview, I'd like to mention the words of a very famous English writer, George Bernard Shaw, who once said, optimist people invented a plane, but pessimist people designed a parachute. That's every time to be an optimistic person. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And I'm the pilot of the plane. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Interview no hardam, mangajdem yachtam. Erik Adamsning yaplarim, ularga man optimist bo'lishlarini tilganimda, ya'ni George Bernard Shaw ning yaplarini eslagan holda, ya'ni optimistlar samolyotda ixtiro qilishgan, pessimistlar parashyutni desam, u juda ham yaxshi gap aytdilar. Men mana shu samolyotni uchuvchisi bo'lmoqchiman, ya'ni pilot bo'lmoqchiman degan gaplar menga juda ham yoqdi va bu gaplar aynan New Yorkdagi O'zbekistonliklarga, ayniqsa yoshlarga juda ham katta motivatsiya beradi deb o'ylayman. Do'stlar, agar da ushbu intervyu sizlarga yoqqan bo'lsa, bitta like sizlardan o'rgilib ketsin, faqatgina dislike bilan adashirmagan holda. Agar da haligacha bizning kanalimizga obuna bo'lmagan bo'lsangiz, demak, hozirni o'zida ushbu video tagiga tushib, qizil tugmachani o'zbek tilida topamiz. Obuna bo'lish rus tilida, podpisatsiya, ingliz tilida subscribe. O'shani shundoqqina bosib qo'ysangiz, uni oldida qo'ng'iroqchan rasmi ham bor. Agar uni ham bosib qo'yadigan bo'lsangiz, demak, har safar biz yangi video qo'ygan paytimizda sizlarga xush xabar keladi. Mr. Otabek TV kanalida yangi video qo'yildi. Nima ham derdim, Mr. Otabek TV kanalida va New Yorkda ko'rishganda, ko'rishguncha